Hey everyone, welcome to RCV Academy. Today, I'm going to start another series on Microsoft Teams. Now, Microsoft Teams software, if you have been working in any of the projects in IT or any other industry and you are working remotely, you would have heard about Microsoft Teams already or maybe you have already used it. So what exactly is Microsoft Teams? if you haven't heard about it or you are new to it. So Microsoft Teams is a collaboration application and it's not just for collaboration, for chatting or for video calling, it's much more than that. So it's a complete package wherein you will be able to communicate, collaborate with your team, work effectively if you're working remotely, make calls, audio, video, share the files, work collaboratively on those files and lots more than that. So there are a lot of features available in Microsoft Teams, pretty uh, comprehensive software, I would say. And the whole focus of this series will be to cover the key aspects of Microsoft Teams that even though you might be using Teams, you would have not got time to explore all the features. So I'll be going through the key features of Microsoft Teams that everyone should know if you are a beginner. And then I'll deep dive into the advanced features of Teams that will help you to be more efficient and effective in your projects working across the team and when you are using Teams in your project. So let's quickly get started and see what exactly are the options for Teams and how you can get started with Teams. So I'm here on the Microsoft website and if you go to the Teams tab here, you will get to the option or basically you will see all the different options for Teams available. So if you scroll down here, some of the important aspect that you need to understand here is that Teams is available in different flavors and if you are in the end enterprise, you might see the interface bit different than if you're using it for the personal use. So I'll show you different interfaces as well if it is for personal use or for enterprise. So for example, you have teams for home users or personal use for business for enterprise and for education. So for universities, teachers, etc. So I'll be covering the teams enterprise, which will show you basically all the important features that will be more or less common across all other different flavors and enterprise versions version will be available basically the whole features or the important features that I'm going to show you will be available only if you have a business account and you sign up with the business account. If you have signed up with the personal account, I'll show you how the teams will look like. So this is basically the team web version. So when we say web version, you will be able to access teams from the browser itself. This is the personal account and you'll see that I do not see too many options here in the left hand navigation bar here. So I have the activity chat meet and calendar there is no teams option and it will have a limited features because I am this is the personal teams account right and you'll see the URL is basically teams.live.com so if you have signed up using your Gmail ID or any of the outlook.com ID and you are not a, a business customer you will see the interface something like this and this is good enough for your personal use you can do the video calling and you can do scheduling you can do all other um, chat and sharing capabilities that should be available in the personal account. If you want the enterprise or you want to have a look and feel of the enterprise team, so basically you have to sign up for the enterprise and you need to have the premium account for that. So basically if we go to the enterprise, right, and I'll sign up for the premium account and that will help us to basically see the full fledged features of team and we'll be accessing teams from the web as well as from the desktop app. So you have the web version. So if you do not want to install the desktop version, you can directly keep using teams on your preferred browser. If you want to install the app, you have the flexibility to install the app on your machine. So we'll go ahead and install the app. App will provide you more features for you and it will be more flexible to use or basically it will provide you enhanced capabilities in the app. Let me go back to teams, go to enterprise. So in order to sign up, basically you can sign up for free, right? And you, if you'll see the plans and pricing, you can absolutely use teams for free. There is a free tier and that you can use, but you will have the limited functionality as compared to the paid version, right? So if we simply go ahead and click on sign up for free, we have to provide the email ID and the password, right? So whatever business email ID or the enterprise email ID that you have signed up for uh, Microsoft uh, account, we have to use it here. So let me quickly get it. So I've provided the email, go next. 
I'll go ahead and sign in and then here you will have option to download the Windows app or use the web app instead, right? So I'll click on uh, the web app and it will ask for the password. I'll say yes. And now you will see that this is the URL. Let it sign in and I'll show you the difference between the personal account and the business account. So you are signed in now, right? And you will see now the difference is basically teams.microsoft.com. So basically if it is your business account, you have signed up for the business account you will see that the URL of the web version will be different, right? So the paid version different and free version is different. The personal version will be teams dot this one, which is basically teams dot live dot com. And the both are the web version, but it will have a limited functionality if you are using the free version of the team. Now, because we are learning team for the enterprise account and for the business, so business will have the enterprise account and they'll be sharing the teams when they share the desktop or the laptop with you, you will be having the teams and you will be having the similar features that I'll be covering in this particular tutorial, right? So this is the web version of it. Okay. And briefly, if we go ahead and see some of the, uh, you know, key features, you'll see this is header here. And in the right hand side, you, if you click on uh, three ellipses, here you will see the settings and different options we can go ahead and download the download the desktop app and the mobile app so you can go ahead and install mobile app on your mobile and use teams on the go similarly the desktop app will be more uh, provide you more functionality and feature and will be really easy and handy to use as compared to the web version uh, this is your profile setting so if you click on the right hand side on you on this little icon here you can see the different uh, options here you can manage your account and and a sign out and in the left hand side this is the navigation bar for the activity chat uh, the teams calendar etc and if you click on these three ellipses you will see different other options that are available calls and file and you can get to see more apps that are available there okay so this is briefly about the web version we can download the desktop version and mostly as part of this tutorial we'll be working on the desktop app so we'll go ahead and download the desktop app from here or you can click on this little download icon in the left hand side right and it will start downloading the teams windows desktop app right so it has it once it's downloaded we will go ahead and install the desktop app and log in into the desktop app and we'll start learning teams and all of the key features about teams in the upcoming tutorials so that's all for this tutorial on the introduction of teams what are the differences between the free version of team and the paid version of team and enterprise teams version and how you can go ahead and start working on teams basically in the web version and the desktop version so i hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you